week, I went over all of my fails of 2021, and this week, we're gonna look at Epic's fails of 2021. But before I get into this, I wanna be clear, it's been an amazing year in creative mode. Epic has worked really hard, and I appreciate all of their amazing, amazing efforts. But sometimes it's okay to look at what's wrong. And today, we're looking at Epic's epic fails. All right, let's just start with some small stuff, and we'll work up to the big, glaring, obvious stuff. So first, we've got the inflatable. I love the inflatable, but currently, it just doesn't work. You get to be a cow and roll around, and you can even move. But when you try to jump, you can't jump. You just, like, it just goes in and out and in and out, and there's, like, nothing good about this. Like, that was what's great about the inflatable is the ability to bounce. But now there's no bounce. Epic fail. Second, and this one is more annoying to me, but if you go to the Meteor Particle Gallery and try to put down this awesome, awesome piece, this is the big, like, cloud piece that I've used on so many maps, but uh, you can't put it down now. It's impossible. Epic fail fixed a glitch earlier this year where anything that like goes out of the island grid like even if it pokes out a little bit you can't place it down but the problem is you can't place this particle down now because it's just too big like even if i go all the way to the opposite end oh very right there we're at the very opposite end you can't place it down like even on thermometer islands this doesn't work now you can place down some of the smaller ones you can try and make those work but those just don't quite have the same effect even when you stretch them out so i don't know if they just need to make an exception for some of the like bigger particle galleries out there but right now it's an epic fail another thing that's happened a couple of times this year is epic releasing things at the beginning of update day and then taking them away it happened with the character device where it was out for like two hours and then they took it away and then they eventually gave it back to us like two weeks later and it just happened a couple of weeks ago where they released the shield keg before it was even in battle royale i have no idea how these things happen guys and to me these are epic fails you may remember the beginning of last summer when thanos all of a sudden just started appearing in maps. Not just Thanos, but all of the like different Marvel weapons. A hacker had somehow modded Thanos into creative mode and it created some chaos over a couple of days. And while this was kind of a fun thing to happen in creative mode, the fact that that was even possible is a huge fail to me. Not only that, but we've seen so many items glitched into creative mode that break maps and break the game mode. And for some reason, Epic hasn't figured out how to stop this. I mean, it still kind of happens to this day. It's definitely gotten better. But to me, this was a huge epic fail. The next thing for me is kind of the thermometer islands. I actually really love the thermometer islands because they kind of like show me the possibilities of creative mode. But the problem with the thermometer islands is that while it works really well for aesthetic builds, like I can build something huge and impressive on this side of the island. And when the memory is maxed out over there, I can fly to another part of the island to build something huge and impressive. And uh, it gives me more than 100,000 memory. But the hugest issue with this is device memory. Device memory is for the whole island. If I want cars on the map, it's gonna cost me 2,600 of the memory. And if I want a helicopter on the map, it costs 10% of the whole memory of the map. And that's just two devices I placed down, guys. So to me right now, thermometer islands are cool, but they almost just kind of tease me into believing I can build something that I really can't. So they, until they figure out how to give us more device memory, to me, the thermometer islands are not an epic fail, but just a little fail. The next thing Epic has just struggled with this year, but they've really struggled with their different callouts to the community. So currently, if you go to the Discover tab, you're gonna see right here behind my head, the Winterfest callout. Now, this is the time Epic did really well with this. But if you click on the browse, you're gonna see a whole bunch of maps that were submitted for the Winterfest callout. This is how it should be done. But on my Twitter post I put out yesterday, some people pointed out the example of like party worlds. This was a call out that Epic did a while ago saying they wanted people to submit different party world type things. And we saw it for maybe like two days in discovery. They did the same thing with high stakes call outs. We haven't even seen that at all. And these creators put a ton of work into these maps. And then we have things like the summer call out where they feature maps that have nothing to do with summer. So in my opinion, the Winterfest was done really well, but a lot of these other call outs were an epic fail. As you guys all know, last December, Tim Sweeney came out and said Creative 2.0 is coming in 2021. Well, we know that's not happening now. But just recently, Tim came out and said it's going to come in 2022. I understand CEOs are excited to get their products out there and tell people that they're coming. The fact that they dropped that bomb on us a year ago and then never, ever talked about it again until just a couple of weeks ago. Like that to me, it just kind of sat wrong. I 
feel like Epic should be giving us regular updates on it. Just little glimpses in what they're working on. I just feel like their communication on this whole big new system has been very minimal. And to me, the fact that they didn't get it out in 2021 and didn't communicate to us about it is an epic fail. The next thing is actually kind of huge. And it's all about the support a creator program. So first we have the support a creator device, which was totally busted and people were totally abusing. They created some rules and they fixed the device to kind of solve that. But there are still people out there abusing it and have found ways around those devices and Epic has never fixed it. And the fact that you have to push this button in the first place is kind of a busted system. Every two weeks, the person you support erases and you have to come back in here and type in someone's name or push one of those support a creator buttons to make sure that you're supporting them. This is a terrible way to pay your creators, especially when it should be based on like playtime. On top of that, only certain people get creator codes and publishing rights are not available to everyone. But just this last month, a bunch of creators who had publishing rights all of a sudden just lost it randomly and they still haven't gotten it back. So while Epic should be giving more people publishing rights, they're taking it away from those creators out there who are making great maps. Huge Epic fail. Now we come to the discovery tab. Now I've talked about this a lot in the past and I don't need to harp on this for too long, but you remember how we had all of the copycat maps that were driving people away from creative mode. Well, that doesn't seem to be a huge issue anymore, mainly because they've limited how many maps can go under any one category, but we're still having issues with the thumbnails. I mean, what the dog doing is still doing. The fact that this is still happening shows there's some huge problems with discovery. Not only that, if people wanna like update their maps, it takes forever to get Epic to approve an update. And the way they choose these maps is really unknown to anyone. And it's still just kind of a mess. The whole aesthetic of the Discovery tab is messed up. You can't search for maps or ones that you really want to play. It's just kind of a disaster. And the whole rollout of it has been a mess. Yes, we've seen improvements on it, huge improvements. And while I personally feel the Discovery tab is crucial to Fortnite Creative, the execution of it has been kind of an epic fail. The last thing I want to talk about is completely ruining Fortnite at the moment. It's the accolades device and all of the people that are currently abusing it to get infinite XP in creative mode. I love the idea of the accolades device. Personally, I think it's going to be a huge important part to bringing more battle royale players over to creative mode. But currently, the only way people are really getting experience in Fortnite is through these XP glitches. I mean, if you look on YouTube, there's videos that are getting massive amounts of views on whole channels that are building their entire community based off of the XP glitches. Map makers are getting mad at people exposing XP glitches. People are abusing things right and left. And currently, I feel like the only people that are playing creative mode are coming to abuse the XP glitch. Now, Epic is currently on vacation, and I don't know what's going to happen when they get back. One of Epic's huge issues they've had in creative mode since day one is enforcing rules. They have all sorts of rules that they set up here. And if you go to Epic Games community rules, you'll see they have a cheating and trolling rule. And in there, they specifically say, don't promote, advertise, known cheats, bugs, or exploits. But I feel like Epic has never enforced this. Hackers have hacked creative mode for years. People have exploited devices, exploited the XP, and they've never even been banned. I feel like if Epic just warned some folks, and then after they break the rule two or three times, they should get a perma ban. Epic has come down hard on people that hack in Battle Royale. Why haven't they come down hard on people that hack in creative mode? All I know is Epic has to fix this, like, right away, or people are just gonna keep abusing it, and creative mode's gonna become a joke. So currently, this is an epic, epic fail.